Hi guys, it's another beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Today is the 13th month since we started this integrated farming and as you know we have actually five major farming components here in the farm. We have actually the goat farming, we also have the rabbit farming, we have the turkey and geese farming and then we also have this chicken, this free range chicken farming and of course this fish farming. Well for the fish farm we have dug at least six mud pond, big mud pond and they are now actually filled with fish and we already have made a good harvest out of this uh, fish farming effort. And another thing is that we also had enhanced our free-range chicken farming and this free-range chicken farming have taught us so many lessons. We have the ups and downs in our quest to really master or establish a good system that will make us successful in the field of this chicken farming. And I have learned a lot of lessons. And number one lesson for this chicken farming is the vaccination. I already have discussed with you that our chicken have been vaccinated since day one up to the age of six months. And that's the thing that we're gonna tell you frankly because many others would say that vaccination is no longer needed. But for me, vaccination is really a must. It's not an option, but it's a must for me. Because if we will not vaccinate our chicken, then surely they will contaminate viruses. Well, there are many viruses that are present here in our country, the Philippines. We have the Gomboro, we have this foul fox, and many others. That is why I say that vaccination is very important. And also, we have produced massively this uh, type of eggs. We are selling eggs to the market and uh, in the middle part of our free-range chicken farming, we also have tried to sell the meat of these chickens. And I'm so glad that with this effort, we've been quite successful. We are actually gaining. But then, I also have learned so much about the kind of facility that would ensure us maximum production of our chicken. And we already have tried putting all the chickens on the ground in one big cage. And it proves to me that it's really very difficult to maintain its cleanliness. Well, our method is we are changing every now and then the rice hull. And it proves to me that it's so laborious and also it's detrimental to, to the chickens, especially when they reach around two to three months because they're already very congested and the ammonia on the ground is really very detrimental to this chicken. That is why I have improved the kind of facility that we have. And please allow me to share this with you. Well, I have just realized that it is good to have a hanging coop. Well, we said that yes, it's a free range chicken farming, but nonetheless, we still have to need this kind of coop in order for us to keep them during the night and also keep them when the rainy season comes. And this is my innovation. And I would like to tell you that we already have fabricated this hanging coop, which is designed for our layer chicken. And I believe that putting all these chickens in hanging cages will make our work easy and will also become beneficial to our layer chickens. And let me tell you that we already have started uh, selecting breeders or layers to lay volumes of eggs for our business. If you can see at my side, there is this kind of uh, chicken coop that we have fabricated. I believe that this will accommodate more than 25 heads, maybe 25 to 30 heads of layer chickens. And you will see that I have here the door and this door, which is quite big for us to have an easy access inside in order for us also to immediately clean the scoop. So the chicken dung will just uh, fall under this uh, hanging cage or hanging coop and it's easier for us to maintain the cleanliness. Well, of course, we have to put rice hull under this hanging chicken cage so that it will not emit bad odor. But uh, this is not actually the permanent place for our layer chickens because if you will look at the back of this uh, hanging cage, 
there is a ramp wherein these chickens can just use in order to have access on the bigger field that we have prepared for them. So maybe you are interested about what is this I am talking about. So let's go at the side of this, at the back of this uh, hanging chicken coop and, uh, we will, and we will see what I am talking about. So guys, we are here at the back portion of this uh, hanging chicken coop that I'm talking about. And you will see that we have here a foldable wall. Well, this wall is foldable, meaning it can just be folded. And uh, the purpose of this is also to convert this as a ramp for our chicken. Well, we have here a big space and I always intend to pasture our chicken so that they can eat the natural food available on the ground. And we are trying as much as possible to have the system of this uh, free range system. Wherein our chickens are happy to, to scratch and uh, look for food and uh, room around. They can run, develop their muscles. These are the things that I have in mind. I decided to fabricate this kind of coop. And of course, I would like to commend our staff, Nonong, for making this possible for us. And uh, yes, we will demonstrate how this is gonna work. So if we will just so if we will unfold this one just like that and we will drop this wall okay so it will touch the ground because we have to hold this it will touch the ground and this will become now the ramp so i think this is very steep and uh, we will make some uh, filling right here in order to have a good elevation so that our chicken will not hard time going down so this is it and uh, Maybe you're interested about this net. Well, this net is uh, a temporary uh, wall that is uh, placed in here to protect our chicks from the mosquitoes. Because during nighttime, there are lots of mosquitoes that may cause the Paul Fox. This is a well-known uh, virus that uh, are carried by mosquitoes. Actually, guys, the highlight of this video is for us to put our chicks right here. We already have selected good number of chicks maybe 80 heads as a startup of our production of these eggs. I'm so happy because uh, I have learned that this kind of chicken, this uh, Rhode Island that is now being mixed with other breeds such as the Siam are also good layers. And I'm very positive about selling the eggs to the market. Eggs that are produced by chickens under the free range method. And these are healthy eggs for the consumption of the people here in our community. I'm so excited to get the chicks right there. Actually, we already have with us the chicks and I just uh, allow them to stay in the car because I'm not yet so sure about the conditions of the scoop. And now that uh, this is already very ready for occupancy, then uh, let me take you to the car and then we will get the chicks and then we will put them here inside in this very beautiful chicken hanging coop and then we will witness their reaction. So guys, we are now going to get the chicks, the 80 heads of these chicks, right there inside. And uh, I, I temporarily uh, put them here because I am afraid that they will die when they're gonna be exposed to the sunlight. But since uh, the case that we have fabricated is already ready for occupancy, then we will get now the chicks. So we have two cartons right here. These chicks are already eager to go outside. So guys, these are now the chicks that we are going to load in this very beautiful coop that we have just fabricated. And I'm so excited now to bring them there inside. So we will now release these chicks guys. 
Actually, we have here two batches of these chicks. The first batch are just uh, two weeks old, and the second batch is around three weeks old. So they are here, and you will see them that they're not decided to come out. So I will just uh, pick them by hand and uh, put them out from this uh, box. My tip for you guys, if you are going to transport your chicks, be sure that your chicks will not be given food, meaning that these chicks have empty stomach. Because it's really very dangerous to transport them when the stomach is really full. And also, another tip that I can share with you is, if possible, you transport them inside in an air-conditioned car. Or if, if you don't have an air-conditioned car, we can also transport them early in the morning. So we will remove this box now and you will see them good there inside. And uh, we will release the first batch. These are bigger compared to this uh, second batch of chicks. Go, 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 go. This is a beautiful place for you guys. Wow, it's amazing. See? And the uh, majority of the selected chicks are female. So they are now relaxed inside. Of course, we will feed them with uh, this booster. But before this uh, feeds, we're gonna put water in here because they are so thirsty. The water is really very important to avoid dehydration. So the first thing is to give them water, okay? You drink, I know that you are really very thirsty for this long trip. And then of course you will put the feeds. Okay. And so guys, our plan for this year, 2021, is to produce some uh, 300 to 500 layer hens for the production of eggs, healthy eggs. And also at the side of this will be the place for our DW chicken. Maybe you are not familiar what is this DW chicken? Well, I call this DW chicken because this is Dexter's World Chicken. And this is a product of crossbreeding between the Rhode Islands, the Peruvian, and the Siam chicken. And we already have 15 hens right here as a start. And we have a couple of roosters. And these are our starter. And we will build some nests for them because some of them are already laying eggs. And uh, I am holding now this basket. And this basket will be used for their nest. And I am envisioning to just allow them to sit on their eggs and incubate it until it will become chicks. My desire is not to put their eggs in the incubator. I, I want to adopt the natural incubation by the, by the mothers, by the hens. And maybe in the future, we can also sell some of their chicks to the market. So these are actually the things that I have in mind. I hope that this will become successful. What only have to do is to persevere. If there are problems, of course, we will find solution. And I already have encountered so many problems, so many problems that will somehow discourage us to continue on with this farming. But I proved to myself that every problem has its own solution. So that is why we have to innovate, we have to adjust, we have to make things possible for us to succeed. And these uh, elevated cages for our layers are the things that I believe that would lead us to success in producing lots of these uh, natural eggs. I call these natural eggs because these are the eggs that are produced naturally by the, by the hen, not by mere uh, layer pellets. So they are fertile eggs and they are good for consumption. And in as much as we are trying to expand this integrated farming, we're also considering about this catfish. Well, last time we had a video about the harvest of our Japanese koi and goldfish right here in this uh, fourth big uh, mud pond. We actually had good harvest. And I would like to thank you for giving me the idea of this catch basin. And this catch basin is actually being made right now. What we have to do right here is to put that net that will catch all the fish 
that we will not have any more difficulty in, in gathering all the fish during the harvest. I got this idea from you guys and thanks a lot. Thanks for educating me and giving me some knowledge and information that would give us a good system during the harvest. Actually, what we have done right now is we were able to dug this catch basin. Maybe by tomorrow we can put the net. But I have changed my mind because I told you that this fish will be reserved for our goldfish and Japanese koi. But my mind is actually now entertaining the idea that we will try the catfish because we already have had uh, thousands of this uh, African catfish and actually this is also good if we will try this one selling this uh, catfish in the market and I believe that there is high demand also of this kind of fish and this is good because this is consumable this is not the same with the goldfish and this uh, Japanese koi where people are buying for pet purposes but this kind of catfish are consumable we will try this one so these are the things that I have in mind and and I don't know because some of you said that it is not good. Some of you said that this is very invasive. This is not good for consumption. But uh, many people here in our place have learned and uh, been educated about eating this catfish. And they testify that it's really good. I will try to release some, you know, 10,000 heads of catfish. And you will witness that in our future videos. So guys, these are all that we can share. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are just new to this channel and you haven't yet subscribed, may, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe because we are close to 1 million subscribers. And I am very excited to receive this golden play button. If there is such, if there is such thing as golden play button, I have learned that in many other channels who reached 1 million subscribers, they got it. And I'm very excited to receive that also. So help me guys to expand our Dexter's World community and be part of this family. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my next video only here at Dexter's World.